Chainsaw Man revolves around Denji. When you take a glance at him, you're probably thinking, man, I wonder why he only has one eye. When you should be wondering, why does he only have one nut? He's in a disgusting amount of debt. So to help pay it off, he's sold his kidney, his eye, and most importantly, I got no nut. The worst part is, he only got 100K for his nut. Wow, I'd pay so much more. What did you just say? Things aren't all bad though. He has this small animal following him. I bet he's the cutest little guy ever. <laughs> Ew, what's wrong with it? I heard you, Pochita. Let's kill this thing already. What are they doing, bro? I thought they were just going for a morning walk. He's talking about dead devils. Hold up, why are you holding your dog like that? Why does Pochita look so... eager? One of my favorite moments of the day. Bro, he literally just tugged on that dog's pecker! What am I watching?! Shut up, it's his tail! You're so stupid! Well, sorry, it's not every day you see one of those monstrosities. What are they hunting anyway? Oh my gosh. What's happening to my brain? I'm getting a vision. Hi kids, and welcome to VeggieTales. I'm Bob the Tomato. Bob the Tomato. Bob the Tomato? Is that you? <laughs> Ew, why is his mouth like that? Maybe he's friendly. Pochita inserted himself into Bob. <laughs> and Bob? He went up to heaven to be with Christ. Then we meet this guy. He's basically Denji's boss, and the person responsible for him having only a single huevo. We find out Bob the Tomato's body is worth 400k. Now that's the kind of money one of Denji's balls is worth. However, because Denji's boss is, um, money hungry, his pay gets cut all the way down to 70k. And since Denji owes money for other stuff, He's left with 1.8k. So he tells Pochita, Welp, it's looking like we're dining on bread this month. We also meet one of his co-workers, who laughs at how broke he is. <laughs> Pain. Denji lives in this super rundown spot, and he begins to tell Pochita about the biggest dream he has for his life. Listen to me! Uh... What? That's it? What about making some better friends? What about making it out of poverty? What about getting a real dog? Come on, man. We then enter a flashback. Child Denji is mourning the death of his father, and he hears a strange sound. And he's like, "Ooh, what kind of rodent is that? They end up making a pact, though, and he pulls up on the guy he owes money to with, uh, this. And he's like, Listen, old man. If I pull on this dog's tail and shove its nose inside of tomatoes and pancakes, will you pay me? Sure! And that's the story of why Denji is the way he is today. He starts telling Pochita, Hey, do you know what dream I want when I'm asleep? Okay, I'll tell you. I want bread with jam on it. And then I'm gonna flirt with a girl, and then we'll play Mario Kart, and then we'll snuggle, and then we'll fall asleep, and then when we wake up, we'll do it all over again! Sounds sweet, right? You are talking to a literal dog with a chainsaw for a nose. All he wants to do is hump stuff and get fed better. Come on, bro! He's in the middle of having the worst night of his life. And then his boss knocks on his door. Got a devil for you, Tenji! Time for work! Something feels a little... off. They're driving in a car together, and he's like... You know where a young fella could get his hands on some hair growth cream? It's for my, uh, mommy! Denji pays it no mind, though. They make it to the devil's hiding spot, and his boss is giving him the silent treatment. Once they make it to the end, he stops and says... You know, Denji, I'm grateful to have you. Yeah? It's been pretty nice watching you kill tomatoes and taking all the money afterwards. I can't stand one thing though. You smell like a dog that bays in its own feces. His boss set him up. And as he's talking, we see a tentacle enter the screen and enter inside one of his holes. 
He doesn't even flinch though. And then it lifts him up really high into the sky. <coughs> I think I'm gonna throw up. Turns out this guy was so money hungry, he made a deal with the devil. This devil to be exact. Wow. I bet he's pretty powerful. Ugh, that's the devil? You couldn't have picked a better looking one? Wait, hold up. You know where a young fella could get his hands on some hair growth cream? It's for my, uh, mommy. It all makes sense now. This is the zombie devil. He makes zombies, and they call him mommy. The zombie devil hates Denji because he made Bobby go up to heaven. I can see why this dude is stress balding. His children look disgusting. They all chase after Denji. And yeah, they make sure he's gonna see Bob real soon. They chop him and his dog up and throw them in the dumpster. However, Pochita gets a gulp of that sauce and remembers one of the happiest days of his life. It all starts with Denji telling him to wake up as it's time for work. Time for work? What does that mean? <laughs> what are you doing to that poor dog? Shoving his nose into the tree like that! And the reward he gets is half a slice of bread. <laughs> With no jam on it! Pochita seems pretty happy though. You poor thing. Denji tells him, Well, I'm probably gonna die pretty soon. And I hear devils can take over dead bodies. So if that happens, I want you to take over mine. And then we cut to Denji's body connecting itself. I can't lie, this is pretty cool looking. Oh, what is that? Looks like Pochita is taking over his body. Good for him. We then get a peek inside both of their minds. Pochita. Aw, that was cute. Oh, you speak Japanese? Go back to barking! He really said. I've always loved hearing you talk about your dreams. And then I'm gonna flirt with a girl, and then we'll play Mario Kart, and then we'll snuggle. You liked listening to that? Pochita gives Denji his heart. In return, he wants to see Denji live out his dream. Ugh, Pochita, I'm sorry for making fun of you all this time. You're actually super cute and super kind. And the best dog ever, to Denji. Denji wakes up fully healed. And when he looks down, Ha! They thought they could take away one of his precious balls. But joke's on them. Look, he got a new private part on their stomach. That is literally the straight thing that's on every chainsaw. You uneducated- The bald guy sees him get up and orders his children to eat him. And right before they start munching, he pulls on his thingy. They all dogpile on him, getting every bite possible. There's a certain sound coming from the pile, though. Rip him up! Rip him up! Rip him up! Rip him up! Denji frees himself. And yeah, he's got some new arms. And a brand new head. Bald thing is like, You're a devil now? So that means you're on our side! No, sir! He uses his tentacles to fling him away. Please don't be the same ones from last time. And let's just say, Denji's new body... ...is quite durable. And let's get one thing straight. This new Denji... ...is not to be messed with. He sends him off to reunite with Bob, and all of his kids are staring at their mommy. Denji finishes all of them off, but, uh... I think he's a little cuckoo now. The next day, an actual devil hunter enters the scene. But more importantly, a woman devil hunter. She sees Denji looking, uh, fried, and walks up to him. I'm getting future girlfriend vibes. First impressions are everything. Let's see what she thinks. Hold up. That look in her eyes. I'm feeling like she's the crazy type. You might have a shot, bro. Uh, 
Hug me. She actually hugs him, and his weapons start melting away. He's back to normal again. Hold up, they aren't showing any angles of the lower half of his body. You already know what that could mean. His clothes melted off too. His clothes melted off too. His clothes melted off too. Oh, shucks! She gives him two options. One, join your buddies. Or two, I can keep you as a human. What's with this word, keep? It's like he's gonna be her dog. If I keep you, I'll make sure you're fed. He's really gonna become her pet dog. Better watch out, man. She might shove your body into stuff and only feed you slices of bread. Like, what's for breakfast, though? Bread with jam and salad? I'm all yours, baby! What? I said I'm all yours! Now feed me that jam! Denji and Makima are in a car together after he decided to leave with her. I don't think he understood what he was signing up for, though. She's a little, uh... Blunt. From now on, you're in my care, Denji. Wow, thank you so much. I expect yes or wolf for answers. I don't need a dog that says no. Um, what are you talking about? You better be a helpful dog for me. You wouldn't want to see what happens to dogs that aren't helpful. Denji is scared out of his mind. Sure, that hug was nice and stuff. But it's not worth all this. He then thinks back to his dog, Pochita and grabs onto his privates in remembrance of him. Denji is about ready to start sobbing, but then Makima takes off her jacket and he is reminded that she is in fact a woman. Look at that thing go. Not only that, but she's also willing to pay for his food. And best of all, she doesn't think he smells like feces, which causes him to fall in love with her. She treats him to udon with a sausage and says she has a really strong nose. She's definitely lying. And that she can smell that Pochita is still alive in there. So that means Pochita truly can see Denji live out his dreams. Isn't that right, buddy? That's exactly right. They're about to get eating and she's like, are you all right? Can you eat on your own? He's about to say yes. But then he stops and thinks about all the mommy possibilities. Hello, sweetheart. Yes, it's mama. It's mama, yes. Okay, that'll help you just calm your nerves a little bit. We got your papa here. I actually cannot feed myself! Wow, she's really feeding him. That's crazy. Is it good? Yes, that's right, Denji. Work for me. You're helping me out so much. Uh, 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 Miss Makima? Uh, is is there a type of guy you, you, you like? If she's into jocks, I'm bawling. If she's into gamers, I'm sweating. If she's into thirst traps, I'm not. <laughs> I'm into the Denji type. She definitely tells that to every guy she knows. But Denji believes her. They make it to the city. And let's just say, Denji is... Drowning in love. Uh, they make it to the Devil Hunter headquarters. She's telling him a bunch of important information, but he's thinking about, um, other stuff. Wait a second, if I'm Makima's type, does that mean we can do more than just hug? <laughs> All he wants to do is spend every second of every day alone with her. This is Aki, his new senpai! And he's going to be shadowing him. What? You mean I'm not going to be working with you? That should be obvious. You're not even in her league. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody got told. I'm into the Aki type. A loser! Denji's like, No! I will only work with Makima. So she gets super close to him, which causes him to start vibrating and says, I'll work with you someday, only if you're a good boy. <laughs> she starts fixing his tie and... Somebody's jealous. The two of them are all alone on their first ever mission together. Does Makima have a boyfriend? Hey, did you hear what I said? Come with me. Wow. It sure is dark over here. 
Yeah, she definitely told him she's into the Aki type three years ago, and all he's gotten since is dusty dog food. However, Aki picks him up and does something unforgivable. <coughs> For some reason though, it feels like Denji didn't take the full damage from that blow. Interesting. Aki gives him the most passionate speech of his life. Look man, it ain't fun in games being a devil hunter. You put your life on the line every single day. You gotta do it because you care about protecting the innocent lives around you. You're just here because Makimo makes you feel all ooey gooey inside, right? Yeah. Well then you deserve to get neat in the huevos. Then he spits on him. <laughs> and his aim was perfect. A little too perfect. Let me guess. Makima spits on you when you disobey, doesn't she? <laughs> Aki says he's gonna let Makima know that Denji decided to quit and starts walking away. Little does he know though, that blow from earlier only did half of the intended damage. They say two is better than one, but sometimes that's not the case. Come on, come on. Having two levels means double the damage. He spins about another five minutes making sure his future kids suffer and finishes it with a speech. Look, man, I got to hang out with a pretty girl today and she fed me sausage and she didn't say I smelled bad. I'm not gonna give up this life for anything. They make it back to HQ and Makima's like, Oh my goodness, what happened to my favorite dogs? I mean toys, I mean boys! Uh, okay, so what happened was, Aki was attacked by the Nut Devil! <laughs> yeah, well, at least I have something the Nut Devil wants! Hey, take that back! I'm glad you two are hitting it off. Denji, you're joining Aki's unit. Bro, she's gotta be the sorriest boss of all time. Looks like he has to live with Aki as well. And let's just say, these days... Denji is living rather lavish. Now that he has access to jam, he about to cook up something special. Something absolutely delicious. That looks disgusting. Yeah, let's just say Denji is the worst roommate of all time. While you're trying to sleep, he bangs on the bathtub and sings Justin Bieber songs. When you have to use the restroom super bad, he's in there asleep and when you finally get your chance things get even worse turns out denji's crack demands an entire role every session this guy is a monster a fiend gets reported so these two goobers show up to get rid of it hey what's a fiend are you stupid or something yes when a devil takes control of a human corpse that's a fiend does that mean I'm a fiend? Characteristic heads. What does that mean? Ew, gross! Beetle Man! Denji finishes him with only his axe. Why didn't you use your powers? Well, Beetle Man kind of reminded me of myself. So I wanted it to be painless. Listen to me. Everyone hates devils. They are terrible. Everyone is serious about this except you. I lost my family to devils. What are you trying to do? Make friends with them or something? Well, yeah. My first friend was a devil and I miss him a whole bunch. <laughs> Aki's eye twitches. I'll remember that. That's not the real reason Denji used the axe though. He actually did it for a whole other reason entirely. A much deeper reason. It was for... These magazines. Worth it. As he's going through them, he remembers what Pochita said to him. And he's like, I'm already living the dream. I got bathtubs, jammed bread, and a pretty girl. But it does feel like something's missing. Something a bit more fulfilling. Denji is starting to mature. He's probably realizing there is more to life. Things like family and friends are the true- Melons! Makima's melons! If I had the right plan, 
I could do it! And with that, Denji finally found something to be serious about. No, bro, this new dream sucks. Please, let me out of it! The next day, Makima tells Denji he's getting assigned a buddy. Not just anybody, though. A girl buddy. I like her shoes. And I love the way she's walking. She's got a little bit of sauce in her step. She must be super cool. Be careful. She's a fiend. What? What? Hey, she ain't that bad. Hold up. Why does she look like his sister? Makima, you into nasty stuff like this? Looks aren't everything though. What are we working with underneath the hood? Yeah, she's kind of weird. Denji is totally against this, but then he remembers his objective. Melon. Denji and Power go on a patrol together, but they can't go in public because of her horns. Everyone with the horn fetish will bother her. So far, Power's personality kind of sucks. Not only that, but whoever her buddy is always gets screwed because of how powerful she is. And it turns out it was actually Aki who put them together. He was like, Ha! You like devil so much? Here, have fun with your sister. A devil appears. And honestly, how powerful can power really be? After Power popped that boy like a pimple, the two of them are getting reprimanded by Mommy Makima. But for some reason, a lot of creepy things are going on. For one, whenever Makima looks at Power with those eyes, she starts sweating and vibrating. And two, while they're having the most passionate argument of all time. How am I supposed to get turned on if she looks like my sister? His breath is making my nose hairs melt. The camera decides to cut away from this argument and keep this angle for a solid five minutes. But then immediately after, we get a close up of those eyes. I don't know why my dad don't have to- Could you quiet down? Honestly, I don't care which one of you smells worse. I just want to see y'all work together as a team. They're alone at night. And Power's like, I hate all devils because one of them took my pet cat away. Meowie. Try it! Denji says loving cats is a waste of time as there are more important things in life. So Power gives him the offer of a lifetime. If he can help her save Meowie, he can touch her Anthony's. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, saving poor Meowie from that devil becomes Denji's number one priority. On the train ride over, though, Power is telling him some important information. But Denji's eyes are malfunctioning. My bro, her eyes are up here. Just focus on saving Meowie. Makima has a meeting with a bunch of old daddies. After that's done, she goes into- <laughs> nah, 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 nah. So you're telling me, Aki's job is to be her full-time Uber driver. She don't even want to sit next to him. You can just feel the pain emanating from his entire body. Just give it some time. I'll be the best Uber driver ever. She's definitely gonna fall in love with me. I'm sorry, my bro. She's in the guys. I have something wrong with them. Go combine with a chicken or something. Speaking of that boy, the two of them make it to the devil's hideout. And yeah, she definitely made up all that meowy stuff. Who even names their cat Meowy? She just wanted to get him all alone so she could do this. She brings him into the house, and I guess she wasn't lying about the devil part. Looks like she's feeding Denji to the Bat Devil. No way they got my man Bruce Wayne featured in this anime. Let's get him! That's not Batman! Thank you, Power, for this meal. I already know it's gonna taste delicious. Turns out, the reason he needs food 
is so he can fix his missing arm. That's pretty heartbreaking. Your arm looks like a burnt hot dog wiener. I will kill you. He drinks Denji's sauce, but it didn't taste like he thought it would. He had yet to realize everything about Denji is disgusting. Yeah. His nub turns into an arm though. Yay, Batman. That was the most disgusting human I've ever tasted. I need to cleanse my palate with something actually yummy. Bruce is daydreaming about some high schoolers. And then Power's like, I gave you food as promised. Now release Meowie. Bruh, she wasn't lying about that sorry cat. Meowie probably looks so stupid. If I'm being honest, I've never been a cat person. But Meowie, you changed that. I said bring me a tasty meal. You fed me feces. Meowie, no! We get a flashback to see how Power met Meowie. Back when Meowie looked like this. Poor thing. It gets worse though. Power used to look like this. I don't like this flashback. After feeding her some leche, she starts to grow attached to her. It might just be a cat. But Meowie is the first friend she's ever made. My arm looks like a penis. Bring me food to fix it. It looks like Power feels a small bond with Denji now. She understands what it's like to lose not only the pet you love, but your only friend. Batman eats her and is now super desperate for a palate cleanser. High schoolers! Where are the high schoolers? Little does he know though, Denji is holding on to his leg. Sucking on that thing, real strong. He's only got one thing on his mind. He's about to crush him. And then, Denji remembers back to a time where he couldn't find Pochita. He looked all over town with no luck. Tears flooding down his face. He thought his best friend had been eaten by a devil, only to find him back at home, with tears rolling down his face as he was waiting for Denji to get back. He then wonders how power must have felt, not knowing if her best friend was safe. Denji grabs on his pack. <laughs> Ha! Looks like he's back to having a nub again. Serves him right. I think I'm gonna split you open and make my dreams come true. They battling across the city, and it's a pretty even match. Until Batman unleashes his secret technique. No, bro, what is that? I know you didn't just turn your entire mouth into a sausage! Oh my goodness. I think I've been getting it wrong this entire time. My apologies. Bat woman! I can't even lie. That PP cannon was impressive. He's about to have his next meal. Huh? How are you still alive? It's been exactly 2,884 minutes! And I still haven't gotten to touch anything! One thing's for sure. Denji will touch on his fruit thighs. For real. Today, we get to learn about what Power used to do back in the day. Don't make it look that pretty. Power used to spend her days grabbing these little guys and eating their heads. She would also grab these fellas and eat their butts. Hamburger helper. Even Winnie the Pooh couldn't escape her wrath. Her life purpose was to walk around naked and eat anything that moves. Once Batman took her meowie though, she obtained a new purpose. Feed him somebody stupid to get meowie back. We then cut to Denji whose life purpose is to touch Power's chest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are y'all laughing at? This man is actually about to make his dream come true. 
Power is like, since you saved my sorry cat and stuff, I'll let you do your thing. I bet everybody laughing has never made their dreams come true. Denji's different though. If he wants something, and I mean anything, and I mean anything he's finna get it. Something cut his arm in half. It's another devil. So, I didn't grow up on Bill Nye for nothing. If this is the zombie devil, and this is the bat devil, then this gotta hold be- Hold on, hold on, hold on, professor! Yeah? That's just the arm. Take a look at its entire body. Okay, let's have a look-see. Denji grabs on his pecker, but all Pochita got for him is a little chub. He's too low on sauce. Turns out, this fine dinosaur was Batman's girlfriend. Spit in my mouth! She switched up quick though. She finds Denji attractive. My man is an absolute stud. He finds her atrocious though. She wants to eat Meowie, just like her boyfriend. Talk to Fishy! So they get into a fight. And even though Denji tries, uh, his best, he's definitely losing. Thankfully, Aki saves him though. And for the first time since the show started, he actually looks cool. While Denji is in the hospital, Aki roasts him for 10 minutes. You put your life on the line and trusted a disgusting fiend. All so you could touch her. Denji, you should be ashamed of yourself. After that, Aki heads up to meet with Makima, but right before he knocks, he spends 30 minutes adjusting his tie and fixing his hair. I don't know how to break it to you, my boy, but... She don't want you. I can't even lie to him though, Makima looks good. You can just feel the tension in the air during the meeting. All he wants is for Makima to touch him and call him a good boy. Which definitely doesn't happen. After a long day of getting no action, we get to see Aki's day in the life. It's a pretty peaceful one, full of productivity, cleanliness, and health. Looks like I'm gonna be your new roommate, Aki. Oh, heck no! Nah! I already have this disgusting freak in my house! I am not adding it. Hey, I just wanted to let you know about your new roommate. Ahem, <laughs> ahem, is, is there a reason why I have to do it? Because I trust you more than anyone else. <sighs> I didn't think it was possible to bust over a phone call, but here we are. Now, we cannot overlook the sheer intelligence of Makima. Oh. During that meeting, she could probably feel the unquenchable thirst Aki had for her. <laughs> so she was like, perfect. That's one less freak I have to look over. This sucker does anything I say. Makima, you genius. To lighten the blow, she said power would behave herself, which is the complete opposite of the truth. <laughs> I can't even talk about what she does without breaking down. <laughs> she wastes her veggies. Hardly ever bays. And worst of all, forces Tony the toilet to suck on her creations for days on end. Please, for goodness sake, end Tony suffering and flush it. Denji, the hero we all needed, decides to save Tony's life himself. Then she pulls up. I hate you. I may use a roll every session, but at least I remember to flush. <laughs> Now that Tony can finally breathe again, she sits on him. Poor guy. He can only live out his dreams three times. One for Meowie. One for Batman. I'm a bear. And one for... Um... Power might be the nastiest girl of all time. But to Denji... Well, the first one got wasted on a pad. Thanks, Meowie. And the second one was about as fun as a game of bingo. 
Thanks, Batman. Oh, boy. The third one happens, and yeah, that bit was super mega boring. Nothing happened. Power's like, wow, that sure was awesome, huh? No, it wasn't. My man waited his entire life to get pranked. What if he told you he saved Maui, but instead all he got you was this? Oh. You'd feel pretty disappointed, right? Thanks to that, Denji gets depressed. His entire life purpose was a fluke. He doesn't feel like eating. He doesn't feel like being stupid. And even when he's around the finest girl in the show, all he can think about is, What's the point anymore? Maybe I should have been gay. I risked my life for a phone pad. I finally touched melons, but I'm still sad. Makima ain't letting this slide. She needs all her dogs in order at all times. And her prized possession is on absolute soft. What's wrong, sweetie? Life is but a chase. I shall now spend my existence pondering if I can only find joy in the anticipation, rather than the outcome being sought after. Speak English, you mutt. Power let me touch her melons, but it felt like I was grabbing a bag of urine. She grabs onto his hand, starts massaging it, then puts his thumb inside her ear. Then she puts his thumb in her mouth and starts biting it. Makima's definitely gonna gargle hand sanitizer after this. Then she makes his original dream come true. <laughs> after that astounding sequence of events, not only is Denji on solid, but he is back to being her mutt. She then tells Denji about the gun devil, a very strong devil that all hunters want to destroy. She tells Denji if he can kill the gun devil, she will grant him one wish, and it could be anything. Let's just put it this way, if Denji kills the gun devil, he's getting mega melons. And Makima's gonna bathe in hand sanitizer. Makima warns him though, this devil is more powerful than anything he's ever seen. I think Denji's thinking about other stuff though. I'm the world's greatest detective. They have a few pieces of the gun devil to track it. Why are the bullets covered in sticky stuff? I'm on to you, buddy. <laughs> and for some reason, if you eat the bullet, you get stronger. You nasty freak. <laughs> A devil gets reported in this hotel, and guess whose team gets called to finish it? None other than the sorriest team of them all, Aki's team. The team that has these two creatures in it, who only behave if given gum. As for the rest of the team, they seem pretty normal. You thought? I was just playing. We got Himeno. I thought this anime already had enough scandalous women with these two, but nah, they decided to add another. She tells Denji if he kills the hotel devil, she'll kiss him. Bruh, there's already enough of that with these two, you need to chill. And just when things couldn't get any worse, we get this guy, who starts having a meltdown over the idea of her kissing someone. Uh, uh, you shouldn't, shouldn't do that. Th th that's way too indecent for a young woman such as yourself. They're running around the hotel, and things get even worse. Himeno's been nice enough to train me for the last six months. Himeno's been nice enough to train me for the last six months. This guy's just like Aki. Oh, the sorry life of a dog. And then there's this girl. While these two are down bad for Himeno, she's got someone else crushing on her. This handsome short king. Somebody get my man a napkin. <laughs> she rejected him. Before Himeno risked everything, this group of suckers is stuck inside the hotel devil's body. These four aren't scared at all though. They became devil hunters for a reason. Can't say the same for these two though. Try it. This one tried to drink toilet water and this one's making a mess under the covers. They probably think it can't get any worse than this. That's hilarious. Remember that 
Handsome, short king. From earlier? Well, after Kobeni rejected him, he decided to hit the gym. And guy, hey, nice and thick. And my man's got something he wants to say. Listen here, you sorry little gummy worms. It probably smells really bad in here, doesn't it? Well, I will set y'all free. If you feed me the ugly one in the back. Kobeni steps out. She's got something to say. Denji. Letty. Wait, what? <laughs> Who needs a napkin now? My money up, your money slow. Young Mula, baby! Aki tries to summon his fox. You know, the only one thing he's good for, but he can't because of the devil's power. Himeno tries to use her powers, but it only makes my man thicker. Y'all worms are screwed. I have no weaknesses and y'all will never find my heart. The only way out is putting Denji in my mouth. Uh, guys, I, I think we should do it. I ain't even gonna clown you. I would do the exact same thing to be honest. This guy's scary. We're not feeding Denji. We will escape another way. Yeah, I totally agree with him. That's interesting. I think she's into it. Shut up and let me do the bit! Turns out, these two have been partners for a long time. And I think somebody caught feelings. It all started when they were out in public. And Himeno gets slapped in the face. What was that about? It's all part of the job. That woman was the girlfriend of my partner. I put gum in her inner thigh. What? You didn't deserve that! That gum is gonna get heated up from all that rubbing and drip all over her legs and everyone's gonna touch- I think I'm in love with you. Back to the present and- Yeah, things aren't looking good. At least they have food though. Um... At least they have each other- Yeah, bro, they're screwed. Get that checked by a doctor! Yes, keep being degenerate to each other. It makes me thicker. Chances of survival are not looking good. They need to do something quick, or they're all gonna die. Kobeni stabs Aki. Well, she meant to stab Denji, but Aki protected him. Denji might be really sorry, but he wants the gun devil dead. So I need him alive for when that day comes. That's cool and stuff, but I'm just glad he doesn't know the real reason Denji wants the gun devil gone. Young Mula, baby! <laughs> <sighs> so Denji's like, all right, all right, I'll let him eat me. The plan is to get my chainsaws out and make him feel so much pain he has no choice but to end himself. And after this is all over, I still expect that kiss. He reaches inside his boxers, I mean shirt, and grabs his ding a -ling. And gives it a nice tug. Let's just say it gets real nasty down there. But whenever Denji runs low, he drinks the juice on the ground and gets back on his feet. On the real though, I gained some more respect for Denji after this. And so does she. This dude is certified crazy, which is exactly what it takes to beat the gun devil. Three days, bro. After three days of that, Mr. Thickums finally shows Denji where his heart is so he can end his suffering. This video is meant to be funny and stuff, but I can't emphasize it enough. <laughs> to celebrate victory, they go out for some drinks. The whole squad is there, but a few people are running late. Kobeni shows up. Ew, what is that sorry outfit? Actually, when I stop and think about it, that outfit matches her personality beautifully. You did not just say that. We are not going to associate her with a legend. This Kobe let these things come out his mouth. Well, I mean, here, here's why practice was important to me. I enjoy getting better. As a leader of a team, it's also your responsibility to elevate the rest of the guys. And this Kobe let these things come out her mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> Denji sees a certain something on the menu. Young Mula! And is like, So, uh, about that kiss? She says she's a little shy right now. He'll get one after some more drinks. Not just any kiss though. She's finna make it juicy. My boy deserves it. Good luck finding somebody else that could do what he did. Looks like it's time for the rookies to introduce themselves. And it looks like Jimeno's getting more and more comfortable. I see you, my boy. My name's Denji, and I'm 16 years old. No, 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 no! She's worried about if he drank or not, but I'm worried about something else. Is my boy getting his reward or not? Shut up! Nobody cares! Wait, hold on a second. He's got the same powers as Aki. The one thing you had going on for yourself isn't even exclusive. Come on, bro. I've got a devil contract, but it's a secret? It cannot be a secret if nobody cares to find out in the first place. Sit back down. <laughs> My hobby is eating tasty things. <laughs> oh yeah, we know! <laughs> On a different note, Himeno is definitely all over Denji. It's looking like things are in the green. Himeno gets really friendly when she's drunk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's kissed everyone here, apart from the rookies. There's no escaping her. Denji looks like he's having second thoughts. She's definitely for the team. Kinda defeats the whole purpose of the reward. That's a guaranteed kiss! Hey man, whatever you're into, go for it. Kiss. <gasps> Bro, Makima just pulled up. And she immediately executes her special move. The jacket take off. <laughs> Have a seat right here, Miss Makima. I can't lie, that was smooth. Keep on trying, Uber driver. Maybe one day it'll happen. Ha! <laughs> Not! Denji-kun, Denji has two options here. Honestly, it's best to tell the truth. Well, there goes your reward. Uh, this guy's a genius. Makima still doesn't know what's going on. Denji has been ensnared in the ultimate trap. On one end, he does not want his mommy to see it go down. But on the other hand, he's got Little Miss Friendly over here, ready to reward him for three full days of hard work. So he just changes the subject. Then they all have a drinking competition. Like no joke, they go all the way in. Makima wins. These two got toasted. Man, power is honestly such a... Why did the music cut out? Huh? Why did she look like that? Well, it looks like my man got his exclusive reward. It's actually not that exclusive. But hey, it's still a reward. Unfortunately though, Makima is definitely watching. Denji is watching her watch. And she takes a big gulp, all while watching. Denji may have lost Makima, but at least for this moment, He's winning. He starts talking about how her tongue feels really good, and how it's melting, and how it feels like mashed potatoes. Hold up. That's not mashed potatoes! Power starts laughing about how Denji would swallow anything. Chill out, he's not that stupid. Well, it looks like Denji got a different reward. He gets to make out with a toilet bowl. After that, uh... Fun night. <laughs> Denji wakes up in somebody else's room. I think it's Jimeno's room. She gives him something to drink. Thankfully, it's not her mashed potatoes. Turns out Jimeno is very jealous of Makima. She turned her crush into a canine. She tells some corny joke <laughs> and asks Denji to do it. However, thanks to Makima shoving a used lollipop in his mouth, 
Himeno's spell gets broken, and Denji ends up sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Here's some nausea medicine, Denji. I hope it makes you feel better. M M Miss Makima? M my first kiss tasted really bad. <laughs> Even if I kiss a bunch of other girls, will I always remember the taste of Himeno's vomit? Open your mouth. Wait, 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 what? Why? Makima, God, again. Listen here, you virgin. Your first indirect kiss tastes like my dusty old lollipop. Happy now? Yes. Thank you. And that's how we got to here. My bro, I am not attracted to humans. You know what you gotta do. Denji and Himeno almost started a family, but no. Thanks to Makima's crusty dry saliva, nothing happened. Speaking of mommy, I'm tired of seeing these two geeks eating sandwiches. Cut to when Makima comes on screen. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Put her on. Didn't you say you never want to cry on camera? Yeah, but the only crying I'm doing when she's on is squirting out tears of joy. Put her on. That is so much better. Watching Makima watch something is so relaxing. And her voice. I feel like I'm floating just listening to her speak. On the real though, the gun devil better watch out. Makima is giving away a special prize to whoever destroys it. And if y'all couldn't tell already, I've been dancing extra long in the shower, which really adds some muscle. Thank goodness, I thought you would never shut up. Wait, what happened to Makima? The four of them are eating what looks like to be some sort of chicken strip. Shut up and tell me. Makima's still alive, right? Yo, what do I say to this guy? Tell him one of your world famous your mom jokes. Okay, I got you. Your mama was so fine. Knock knock, she crossed the road. What? They're in the middle of talking about some really important stuff. And then this guy's like, These hamburgers suck. Well, that was kind of awkward. My grandpa was the sweetest guy in the world. He made so much money, and spoiled me as a kid with all the Lego sets I could ever want. Wow, he sounds like such a sweet grandpappy. This was my grandfather. I heard he made a lot of money off of you, Denji. My 75192 Millennium Falcon was built in your honor. Alright, what the heck do you want? I hear the gun devil does not want you or this creature touching Makima. He wants your heart, so I'm here to take it. Aki might have a sorry, unexclusive power, but thank goodness he does. That fox is clutch. Aki, this thing you put in my mouth is highly unusual. Neither human or devil, he is biracial. Buddy rips open Fox's face. Get that off the screen. There's no time for jokes right now. Power, stop Himeno's bleeding. What is that in his hand? I thought all he had was his fox and his Honda Civic. He's got more? Yes, he does. Now, five, three. Now, two. Now, two, five, one. Well, give me the looks. Give me the looks. Finish him. Look, man, I'm sorry for all those times I called you a dog, joked about your saliva, made fun of your Civic. You're actually cool, bruh. Himeno needs a doctor ASAP. Aki is trying to figure out what's going on and then she appears and heals the Lego collector. And unfortunately this time, he's not holding back any punches. Jetfly, you crazy. Whoa! Power is too scared to do anything, and Himeno is too injured. So Himeno gives her devil everything in return for her full strength. She gives up one arm, two arms. She's willing to give everything up for Aki. She knows he cries easily, 
and the idea of someone crying for her when she's gone doesn't sound so bad. Her entire body, her entire life, all for Aki. So that when I die, you can cry for me. I'm sorry, Aki, but she's gone. Power ran off, but they don't care. They only want Denji's heart. Himeno loved many things and had a huge impact on a lot of people. There were also some things she was really good at doing. The best example of this would be... Grabbing Denji's pecker! This time I'm gonna split him in two. I don't know what entire nation is going on. All I know is that I hate you and all your Legos. And one thing's for sure. So, yo, 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 yo. You can suck on my gold. This fight is no joke. Massive exchanges of blows back to back. These two are having the matchup of a lifetime. Wait, yo, what is this? This guy called up the sorriest reinforcements of all time. They start ruining everything, but thankfully Denji takes one of them captive. Well, 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 look at how the tables have turned. This guy's one of your best friends, right? Um, sure. You better not move a muscle. Or you're gonna have to watch my tongue. Have some fun with all of its face holes. I'm really hungry, so I'm starting with his right nostril first. I've been there, done that. It doesn't taste as good as you would think. That's right, sit down. You know what? I think I'm gonna still do it anyway. <laughs> He cut Denji and this lucky fella right in half. Everything is looking absolutely horrible. So many devil hunters everywhere had their lives lost. Hold up, Makima's alive! Why did she have to leave, man? She was the best mommy ever. Like, hey, she idiots. had to go, man. She was so fine. Hey, Why idiots. Is she was the best I said, mommy hey, ever. idiot! What? Your 2D drawing is breathing again or something. No way. Look at the screen, genius. Let's freaking get it! As soon as she meets up with the team, she asks for 30 convicts, a private temple, and a new set of clothes. And then we spend a solid five minutes watching Makima put on her new clothes, ASMR included. I don't know what she's about to do to these guys, but I'm starting to get jealous. Yeah, never mind. Makima is too high up for us to know what her devil contract is. But basically, she's like an elementary school Play-Doh teacher taking attendance. Please say the name Hugh Janus. Hugh Janus? And then she treats Hugh's head like some Play-Doh. <laughs> and then she treats his body like a water balloon. I have found a newfound respect for Makima's hands, lips, and hold up. Y'all remember in like 2013 when every girl on Instagram cared about their thigh gap? Is Makima hashtag slang? Can you go back to crying, please? Even though they lost all their grunts, these two are determined to take Denji's body back home with them. But then, Kobeni appears. A rise sacrificed his life for her, and she's ready to do something about it. It's honestly a little bit poetic how Himeno described them. A rise not super competent, but makes up for it in motivation. And Kobeni's really timid, but she has the move. Now I know why they call it 
Chobeni may have succeeded, but she's not doing too well emotionally. She lost her partner Arai, and feels terrible for trying to kill Denji earlier. She decides she's gonna have to leave this job, which means she's gonna have to tell Himeno. Wait, wait a second. She's gonna have to tell who? Never mind, go back to talking about thigh gaps. Aki has had one of the hardest lives ever. Everyone he holds dear just keeps on leaving. Hey, give me that apple. No, I'm having more fun touching this apple than I ever did touching you. Enough! Did anyone survive the attack? Yeah, well, only the people you don't care about. I know just the thing to make you happy again. You can have an apple! He must be allergic to apples or something. But hey, at least he can cry in peace. I know Aki hates other people seeing him cry. <laughs> Silly guy left his favorite manga in there! Makima introduces the two of them to their new teacher. He learns some things about them and falls in love with them. You need to be a little bit <coughs> stupid to fight and beat the gun devil. And these two got that in spades. Hold on just one second though. Everybody get your magnifying glasses out. When Makima starts talking, he hits her with the finger and the shh and the shut it. And she listens all right. And he gives Makima an order at the end. Makima, you head on back. And she makes a little bit of a face and leaves. Bro, Makima is supposed to make any guy's kneecaps jiggle at the mere thought of her. What is going on with this power dynamic? And we find out immediately, this guy is just as crazy as them. Choke me, daddy. And then this guy says the hardest two sentences ever uttered this entire anime. I'm the best devil hunter there is. Any devil that can beat me would be the strongest devil. You really are daddy. So basically he's gonna bust them up over and over until he feels like they're strong enough. Meanwhile back in the hospital, Aki is trying to summon his fox. Last episode he had this kind of energy. This time, not so much. Uh, uh, hey, come, come. Can, can you maybe come out for me, buddy? Guess that's what happens when you ask your girlfriend to swallow a lawnmower. These two tell Aki he's washed and that he needs to find another devil ASAP. And then we cut to these two suckers who just got played with for 24 hours straight. Chill out, Denji. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think he's giving birth. They decide they've had enough of being treated like toys. They're gonna put on their stupid little glasses and hunt him. So they start the attack. He's not daddy for nothing. Failure. That was a good attempt, though. We're done for the day. See y'all tomorrow. Hey, Power. Daddy said he's not gonna play with us today. We did it. About what I said earlier. Himeno's sister visits Aki in the hospital and gives him a letter Himeno wrote that she thinks is worth reading. Oh no, the emotions are coming back. Why aren't the subtitles kicking in? I don't know, just give it a sec. They freaking forgot to add them. Alright, that's it. I'm learning how to read Japanese. I don't think that's what it's called. Shut up! You don't know anything! There's English now. Wait, wait, hold up. No one- Himeno wanted Aki to quit this horrible job. But despite that, he's doing the opposite. Isn't it kind of fun watching his arms swing back and forth? Are you an ice skater or something, bro? You ruin everything! Aki is about to meet the new devil he wants to make a contract with to get stronger. People in the past have had to sacrifice half their life. Another had to sacrifice their eyes. But let's not worry about that. He's meeting with the future devil. And I don't know why, but when I hear that, I just have this feeling the devil is gonna be stupid fine. Aki, this is what you gotta do. Walk in that devil's cage and hit him with... Baby. Baby. What's our future looking like? 
I'm guessing she's on the thicker side And she's got a really smart brain well, I am no longer aroused, but I ain't the one getting into the relationship, so I hope Aki likes what he sees. I don't think he's aroused either. Well, at least his personality is a 10. Yeah, yeah, the future rules, the future rules. You say it too, go on, join me. I am here to make a deal with you. Just tell me what you want from me. Well, someone's a virgin, but not by choice. I need to see what your future looks like. So come over here and stick your head inside my gut. Aki, you've had a long, fulfilling career. Just pack it up. It's not worth it. Come on, baby. Just put your head inside me. Aki, don't do it. He did it. And somebody really likes it. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna live in Aki's right eye. Just like how his ex lived in his fingers or something. And then we cut to these two meeting up. Why do I feel tension in the air? I don't know what's going on. All I know is that Makima is probably crazier than I could ever imagine. And then we meet some new characters. Yo, shout out Shark Boy. Three eyes and a big ass head. Skip Sharpedo, take him instead. Munching on zombies, he's well fed. And then we got this guy. Bird face, he don't miss. You don't want to catch that fist. You don't want to be on that list. Pajado cut you open like Swiss. And you already know that's way too many sausages. We need some estrogen up in here immediately. Oh yeah, she kinda cute. Let me see what you got under the- She got eight legs, and they all disgusting. Five, yeah, they super nasty. I ain't got a spider fetish, I can put that past me. But for just one second, let me get really classy. Wilbur's girlfriend Charlie definitely got that little fatty. I'm just playing, but that made all the freaks super happy. And then we got this attractive girl guy, Angel. He really bit that bit. Five, I don't know your gender, but you reminded me of something I don't want to remember. Something you shouldn't watch right in the middle of November. Not for real, Lord forgive me for my sins, I surrender. Aki faces off against Himeno's devil. And at first, she's choking him real good. Sawatari tries to flex again, but nah, the choking gets put to a stop. And then she tries to whip out Gummy Worm, but nah, the Black Mamba one step ahead. And then we cut to these two in an elevator. Please cut away, I'm gonna throw up. Power goes off to be stupid. So we finally get the rematch we've all been waiting for. Double S pulls on his wrist. Melon Man pulls on his slim chin, yeah, and they get after it. Denji ain't breaking no more though. No. Thanks to Professor, he's super stiffy. Stiff. Two bricks grinding up on each other, oh. trying to find out who's harder. So we're fighting with the boys. You make everything whack. The battle moves to a train. Makes me think of Spider-Man. If Spider-Man was disgusting, things aren't looking good for Denji. And then he does the thing. No, man, please. That is so broken. Go! And he does it a second time. So now all Denji got is a brick on his face. Poor guy. Before I end you, you mind telling my grandpapa you're sorry? Ah, this ain't over yet, bruh. But he still got a stiffy on his face You better watch yourself I can't even lie to him Denji, you're washed as heck Sorry about that Daddy taught his son how to lie Who would've thought My fucking get bricked up too Serves you right Denji got him basically naked, all tied up, and he won't stop staring at his boxers. Making these types of faces, you can practically hear the sweat gushing out of his poor body. And then Aki shows up. His eyes are locked on to those boxers, but he's making a face of jealousy instead. Comparison is the thief of joy. I can't wait to do this. Come here, boy. Let me humble you real quick. 
they take turns kickboxing his twins. Kimeno would be so proud. Good luck getting your wife pregnant. Not happening. Hold up. He's hitting this face. I think he might like the way it feels. Eyes rolling back and stuff. Everybody in CSM just wants to get touched. And just when I thought we were short on women, we get a little preview. Give me the rundown. Leg picks. 8 out of 10. They look soft. Head pick. 8.5 out of 10. That's a nice jawline. The way she says Denji. I think he just wet himself. 10 on this record. Well, that concludes my series on Chainsaw Man. I feel pretty bittersweet when it comes to this series. I definitely put everything I had into it. There have been ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I am proud to say I covered the entire series. Thanks y'all for supporting it all the way through. That truly means so much. And I hope to see y'all in my future projects. Denji frees himself. And yeah, he's got some new arms. And a brand new head.